Will there be a Windows 10 128-bit operating system? We already know that there are 32 and 64-bit versions of Windows, but will we be seeing Windows 10 128-bit available anytime soon? Well, that's what we'll be looking at in this video. Now, to answer this question, we need to look at a few things, such as what the benefits would be of a 128-bit version of Windows, what the limitations are of Windows 10 64-bit, and computer trends as well. So first off, let's look at computer trends. Back in the 1970s, 8-bit computers were fairly common. Back in the 80s, 16-bit computers were fairly common. Back in the 90s, 32-bit computers were common. And from around the year 2000 and on, 64-bit computers have become more and more popular. So looking at this graph, it very much looks like computer manufacturers will soon be bringing out a 128-bit computer. And if they do, Microsoft will no doubt respond by bringing out a 128-bit operating system to go with it. But let's dig around some more. To get a broader picture of all of this, let's look at what it took to change from 32-bit to 64-bit computing and why they bothered to make the change. To have a 64-bit computer, you need all of these things listed here. By the way, nearly all 32-bit programs will work on a 64-bit computer. So as you can imagine, many hardware and software manufacturers had to invest a lot of time and money to produce these computers. So why did they bother? Simply put, 32-bit computers are limited to four gigabytes of system memory. Whilst this is plenty for some, many people now need more than this. So how much system memory will a 64-bit computer allow? The answer is a little over 16 exabytes. That is about 16 million terabytes. Or to put it another way, about 16 billion gigabytes. This is literally billions of times more than most people use today. So we won't have to worry about a memory limit for many years to come. Something worth noting here is that Windows itself restricts how much system memory can be used, as you can see from the information here. But these restrictions are by Windows itself. This isn't a restriction due to them being 64-bit operating systems. OK, so another major benefit of having a 64-bit computer is that a 64-bit CPU is capable of processing more calculations at the same time and a 128-bit CPU would be capable of processing even more calculations at the same time. But would this benefit be enough to tempt hardware and software companies to make the necessary changes so that we can all have a 128-bit computer? Well, it certainly could be a good marketing strategy for the tech industry. But let's look at one more important point before coming to a conclusion. If you take a look at any 64-bit computer running Windows and bring up the task manager by pressing Control, Shift and Escape, you'll see that there's quite a few 32-bit programs running. There are two main downsides to 32-bit programs. One, each 32-bit program can only access up to four gigabytes of system memory. And two, they don't have access to the full power of a 64-bit computer. So why haven't all software companies changed all their software to 64-bit? Well, one of the reasons is that most, if not all, of your 32-bit programs don't need that much computer power to run well, and they don't need over 4 gigabytes of system memory either. So we haven't even fully moved over to 64-bit programs just yet, let alone 1 to 8-bit programs. OK, so let's draw to a conclusion. For most, if not all, programs on the average home computer today, 64-bit computers are no bottleneck. In fact, for some of the programs that are still available today, even 32-bit programs are no bottleneck. So for most of the software you're using today, you would see no benefit from running on a 128-bit computer 
with a 1 to 8 bit version of Windows. Then there's the fact that 64 bit computers have no system memory restrictions for us to be concerned about right now and for the foreseeable future. So taking all the facts into consideration, there is a small chance that we could see a Windows 10 1 to 8 bit version at some point in the near future for one reason or another. But more than likely, we won't be seeing anything like this for many, many years to come. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have an opinion on this subject or if you'd just like to say hi. I always enjoy reading your comments and talking to you all. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.